Hello, this is a review of the Kensington Memory Foam Seat Cushion. Now, I really like this seat cushion. I think it does a really good job distributing weight evenly to help you sit for longer before you get sore. So, um, it's a non-slip, so it doesn't slide around. It's plenty thick. It has some features like a contoured front that's supposed to keep your legs from getting uh, circulation pinched off by uh, going off the ledge of the chair or seat cushion faster. Um, it's plenty big to handle a decent sized chair and um, it really does work. I find myself being a whole lot more comfortable than on a plain wooden chair um, and more comfortable than on cushions like this. Um, but make no mistake, it doesn't mean that you can keep sitting forever. It's not a cloud. Um, but it is a better solution than your traditional uh, pillow in my, my experience. So let's talk about some more details. Um, the, the first thing that I set out to do is solve, you know, s sitting on a chair uh, that gets too uncomfortable too fast. Like if I have to work from home and need to sit at the kitchen table um, on one of these chairs, it's just way too uncomfortable to sit there the whole day. Um, or if I need to pull a chair in front of a TV to play a video game with someone or something like that. So the first answer is, oh, let's go get a cushion and throw it on there. Um, these are rather lumpy and they get more lumpy the longer you have them because you sit on them and push around the contents inside. And they slide around the chair really well. Um, their solution is to tie these onto the back of your chair, but that only tethers it a little bit, right? That just keeps them from falling all the way off. Um, so then this got too uncomfortable, so I said, okay, let's throw a second one on, but that barely solves the problem, too. Um, it introduces its own lumpiness, and then they still slide around. You could always get a drawer liner that gives you non-stick, put it under, and probably do a little better job of not sliding. Um, but I think this is more comfortable than a double stack of these. Um, but the other thing to remember here is this isn't about being cozy, right? So... Um, like any memory foam application, when you, like a Tempur-Pedic bed, it's going to be the same thing. The first time you lay on it, you might go, whoa, this thing is rock hard. And then you sit on it for a minute and go, oh, and you sink in a little bit. It's, it's not about being cozy. It's about getting contoured to yourself. So if I push my hand in here, you know, I, I actually sink in, right? So that's what's happening on the small scale, uh, but with your rear end. When you sit here, um, you're not, you're not going to have as many f pressure points from right where your rear end comes into, uh, flattens out with contact with the chair. Instead, it's going to even out a little bit more um, for you. And you'll notice that if you sit crooked on it, like if I go down to put my shoes on and I sit, I sit here, and then I come around to sit straight on it, I've actually caused the chair to be, lo the cushion to be lopsided for a short period of time. Um, it comes back quick enough that you don't really, really have to pay attention to it. The other thing I really liked to oppose these things sliding around all the time was the non-slip rubber bottom of this thing. The whole thing is rubber. This thing does not move. When I put it here, this thing's staying. I mean, I, I can move the whole chair, but I'm not getting it to move at all. Um, the one thing to note is the longer it's on the chair, it really, it seems to let a little residue out. So. Um, as we can see here, I can rub it. You can kind of see how something might be coming up as it comes off with my finger. Nothing literally does that you can see. I kind of feel something, but it's not too much. But on my chair, where I pulled this off of before, this one's shiny. But the chair I pulled it off on wasn't so shiny anymore um, after I pulled this off from it. So just be aware that it'll leave some residue behind. Um, it looks like I'll be able to clean it off just fine. But just be aware of that. Just give me an idea of the thickness here. Um, now let's talk about size. So it fits this chair just fine, but let's compare it to a smaller chair such as this one. So let's take it over, slide it on, and you notice it doesn't fit, right? So I don't know what would happen if you damage it at all by using it on a chair that doesn't fit on. You know, it's hanging off the front, it's hanging off the sides a little bit um, as well. So if you want to know what's the actual size is, let's go ahead and throw this over here, pull out my trusty tape measure and we can see. So we see we're about a little, we're over 15 and 3 quarters at this particular point in width. In depth, we're, oops, we're over 16 inches in depth. And how about in height? 
sorry, looks like we're about two, I'm sorry, two inches in height. So it'll give you an idea of what we're looking at in size. So I think it's great. Just don't expect it to be the miracle worker that lets you sit for eight hours straight without getting up, stretching your legs. Um, I mean, simple fact of the matter is, you know, you do need to move around a little bit in real life, but it is way more pressure relieving than than this, which is significantly more pressure relieving than this. Um, I'm really happy with it. Um, the one, a few um, side notes is the the newer it is, the more firm it seems. Um, so as it gets older, it seems to get more soft and more cozy. Um, that might just be, you know, the memory foam aging. Uh, so the very first time out of the box, um, give it some time. Um, then you'll get used to it, um, but don't judge it too harshly um, on the very first use. Um, there are some reviews or someone who uses this every day, all day long for um, how long the longevity is, I don't know. Um, I use this once in a while. Um, probably, let's say I use it almost every day, except I only use it for one to two hours every day. Um, and then it, uh, I haven't had any problem with it. It doesn't um, sag at all for me. So I'm really happy with it. Um, hope you enjoyed the review.